All right. I've been working diligently, I have some free time to work on the sub D uh, workflows inside of Alias. And, you know, it was recommended to me to try single hotkeys. And you know what? After all of these years of using Alias and all the clutch keys, I'm switching. Leave a comment below and let me know your feedback. Let me know if you actually are using this already and I'm the one that's late to the party. Check this out. I mean, if you guys aren't familiar with the single hotkeys, you're able to enter a hotkey by pressing the key. I mean, it seems very natural, especially if you're coming from like Maya, Modo, I think Photoshop has some hot single hotkeys or has hotkeys. I mean, most applications do, let's be honest. But in Alias, we, at least for myself, I've never really embraced them. So if you're inside of Maya, for example, the QWERTY keys um, can activate your move, rotate, and scale. And inside of Alias, you know, typically I would do that with, let's say, a marking menu to go to the move tool. But if I come up here to preferences, interface, toggle single hotkey mode, I am able to set my transforms to something like the QWERTY keys, right? So here's just a few examples. Uh, this last one down here is transform. That brings up that manipulator that you see when you when you create a, a primitive. So for example, if I'm, let's say, in a sub D model and I want to pull a few of these points up, instead of going marking menus, I can hit the W key and immediately start modifying that. If I need to rotate or scale or, you know, whatever I'm doing, I can hit that. In this case, if I hit QWERTY key, I can get this nice little manipulator um, to do that. But, you know, typically I'm just using the regular move tool. Now, there's a few caveats with the single hotkey mode, and here's a couple of them. If we're looking in the prompt line and I say I want to move something, notice that the prompt line is kind of grayed out. In order to type into the prompt line or any input, I'm gonna to have to hit tab, which activates it. And now, you know, I can write in some number, numeric number. So I have to be very aware that I have to hit the tab key in order to activate the inputs. Now, if I wanna do something like switch it from absolute to relative position, it's tab R just as usual. So that is one thing that you might have to get used to. You can still use your normal hotkeys. For example, I have Shift A as Delete Locator. I have Shift S as Delete Construction History. And I like to have the extra click, let's say Shift, in order to do those. And that way I don't accidentally delete something. I'm forced to hit both buttons. With single hotkey mode activated, I can still keep those as my hotkeys but then, for example, new layer, now I can just put hit in and it automatically generates a new layer in my object lister. So you get the best of both worlds. And really, the only thing you have to kind of retrain yourself on is hitting the tab key or making sure that you know you need to activate an input window in order to type into that window. So I hope this was useful. I'm switching myself. I hope you guys at least give it a try. Leave a comment below and let me know your feedback especially if you're coming from other applications that use like the sub D workflow where you're probably going to be used to a single hotkey um, workflow in those programs. Awesome. Take care. Keep surfing. Peace out. Later.